Words have power. Books were once burned to keep them out of the hands of the masses. But burning pages doesn't destroy ideas. Ideas and words live on today in libraries as readers discover themselves and their place in the community. Every year, the American Library Association records hundreds of book censorship incidences in libraries across the U.S. Each individual who demands censorship infringes on the First Amendment rights of readers. Each request to remove a book eliminates the voices of storytellers and dismisses the needs of readers who find themselves in those pages. Most threats are unsuccessful thanks to the teachers, librarians, authors, and even kids who rise up against censorship in libraries, and their words have power. These resilient readers know that banned books benefit our worldview, our empathy, and our democracy. Of the 323 challenges recorded by the American Library Association in 2016, the top 10 challenge books are Number 10, Eleanor and Park, written by Rainbow Rowell, Challenge for Offensive Language. Number 9, Little Bill, written by Bill Cosby, illustrated by Barnett P. Honeywood, Challenge because of criminal sexual allegations against the author. Number eight, Make Something Up, Stories You Can't Unread, by Chuck Palahniuk, Challenge for Profanity, Sexual Explicitness, and Being Disgusting and All-Around Offensive. Number seven, Big Hard Sex Criminals, written by Matt Fraction and illustrated by Chip Zdarsky, Challenge because it was considered sexually explicit. Number six, Looking for Alaska, Written by John Green, challenge for sexually explicit scene that may lead a student to sexual experimentation. Number five, Two Boys Kissing. Written by David Levithan. Challenge because its cover has an image of two boys kissing and it was considered to include sexually explicit LGBT content. Number four, I Am Jazz. Written by Jessica Herthel, Jazz Jennings, and illustrated by Sheila McNicholas. Challenge because it portrays a transgender child and because of language, sex education, and offensive viewpoints. Number three, George. Written by Alex Gino. Challenge because it includes a transgender child and the sexuality was not appropriate at elementary levels. Number two, Drama. Written and illustrated by Raina Telgemeier. Challenge because it includes LGBT characters, was deemed sexually explicit, and was considered to have an offensive political viewpoint. And the number one challenge book of 2016, This One Summer, written by Mariko Tamaki and illustrated by Jillian Tamaki. Challenge because it includes LGBT characters, drug use, and profanity, and it was considered sexually explicit with mature themes. We bring to light these 10 books to shout out against the infringement of our freedom to read and learn. Your words have the power to challenge censorship. Join the American Library Association in celebrating Banned Books Week in September and continue to stand up for your freedom to read every day of the year.